Tell us a little about yourself. I'm Roper Rich, you know what I'm saying? I got the brand Richeza going crazy from Chicago to Atlanta. Started the brand probably in like 2012, but I never I never really dropped nothing until like 2017. Like from that, from 2012 to 2017, I was just building up the brand, building it up, building up the demand, letting all my close people and shit like where, you know what I'm saying? I curse this. So yeah, letting all like my, my peers, you know what I'm saying, wear and just let them catch the vibe, let other people catch the vibe. And like my peers just happen to be like people by the name of like Chance the Rapper, you know what I'm saying, Polo G, Dirt, Young Thug, Gunna. So like as they wearing it, the hype and the demand going up. So as I built like a, a, a good a good demand for it, when I felt like it was high enough, that's when I released it online. And my first like my first day it sold out like the first night it sold out like my website crashed everything so that's when i knew like all right now i got a market like it's a market for what i'm doing so after that i was just like kept designing kept designing kept designing and like here i am right now what made you want to become a designer have your own clothing line um, growing up i was always like my older cousins and every they always like kept me dressed like they give me they like hand me downs and shit like that so it's like i'm wearing what I'm, I'm like nine, ten years old wearing with like the 15 year olds and shit wearing. So when I get around my friends, everybody complimenting me because it's really like the hand me downs, but it's still cool. So just, you know, hearing the compliments growing up with them, I just got into fashion. Like I, I, I always had an eye for it. What were some of your fashion influences? Like who do you look up to? Um, like I said, like people in my household, like like I come from like a big family, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody standing one and one under one roof. So I got my older cousins and shit. They they like ten years older than me, so they'll be on the trends first. They get money and stuff like that. So they'll they'll be wearing they pelly pelly jackets and you know what I'm saying, shit like that. I really looked up to them first and then you know what I'm saying, it just started from that. I just kinda cultivated it into my own style. How you dealt with trying to get finances to get this together? the hustle like I started off like a, a, a young young hustle like when I was like 11 and 12 I started off just like selling snapbacks like this one the snapback wave was popping you know what I'm saying the starter ones the vintage ones so I, I, I found me a plug bought them wholesale and was just flipping them and like I made a name for myself around the city which is you know what I'm saying flipping snapbacks because they was they was in the high demand and couldn't nobody really get their hands on them right. so just, you know what I'm saying? Finding little hustles like that, you know what I'm saying? Just selling shoes, just stacking my money. So, a lot of people is trying to come out with their own clothing brand. Once again, money is the obstacle they got to overcome, especially if they got to do a large order for a store. What do you recommend to them if they got to do an order and about factoring and stuff like that? Um, okay, so my story is, I started, I literally started off with probably like, I got my logo printed on like one hoodie, one pair of sweatpants, and one t-shirt. And I was just like rotating it with different outfits and shit like that. So it's like, I, I built, I was just wearing it. I was, I was self-promoting, you know what I'm saying? Being a walking billboard, letting the demand go up. And it's like, I kind of took pre-orders. So it's just like, when people was like, I like that. I, I asked them, you want to buy it? They'll say, yeah, and I'll go get it made. I did pay for it, I go get it made and you know what I'm saying, just can't build and build and build it like that. So if 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 financial if some financial is a problem, I suggest you just keep working, keep working and, and let them, you know what I'm saying, do like a pre-order or you know what I'm saying, just see where your demand at, see where your market at first. All right, and then tell us what's in store for 2022 and beyond. 2022 and beyond, I'm having I'm having shoes like these shoes. I'm coming out with shoes, more events, more pop ups, more collabs. You know what I'm saying? International, the inter my international marketing. So everything just going what it is now times ten. And how they can find you online and your Instagram? My Instagram is Ropa Rich. Real Ropa, R O P A dot R I C C H. That's my Instagram. My website is richesaforever.com. All right, thanks a lot, Boss XL Magazine, Ropa. Sure.